Hello everyone. I don't know where the camera is on this thing. Is it that? If I look there. No, it's there. There it is. <laughs> All right, we got there in the end. Hi everyone. I thought it'd be really fun to take you on a journey with me to getting ready for an audition. I had a phone call on Friday uh, about an audition for Wednesday coming and I'm preparing for it. So I thought it'd be cool to bring you on that journey. I look absolutely in shambles, but you get the real deal on my channel, so there we are. Life right now is a movie. Ah, oh, yeah. Wish the soundtrack was groovy. Too bad, I'm frustrated, I'm moody. Ah, oh, yeah. Just need a happy ever after. I've recently signed with a new agent. This audition I'd actually managed to get on my own, but now I'm with an agent. She's obviously doing all the admin side of it and all of the conversation between the cast and director and myself. So it's on Wednesday, it's in London. I've managed to get a slot for four o'clock, which is perfect. That's it really, just thought this could be a good insight for all of you, so let's do it. Happy days, come with me. First things first, I'm putting my phone on silent, uh, flight mode, and I'm not gonna look at that for however long I need to feel good. I keep forgetting what my camera is. Uh, to feel good and confident in my choices for Wednesday. So let's go. Let me fill you in on what the bus for essentially. So we are going to be doing a little excerpt from the script that they sent me. We're also going to be singing a song with a pianist, which is something I'm a bit out of practice of, not going to lie. And I am, uh, I've got to do a speech, a classical speech. So that shouldn't really be too much of an issue. So I've decided what speech I'm going to do. I am doing Romeo from Romeo and Juliet. So I'm going to brush up on that. The song I am more nervous about just because I have recently done a voice course and I'm still unpicking a lot of habits that I've got and I'm learning, almost relearning and recalibrating my own voice and figuring out how that sounds and how it feels to use my voice in a more uh, considerate fashion. What I mean by that is being fully aware of what I'm doing from an anatomical level to create the sound that I'm desiring in my song. So, as I said, a little bit more nervous about that. The first time I sang with a pianist was the other day, uh, like the other week, sorry, when I did this course. And even then it was more for a workshop. It wasn't really, I didn't finish the song. It wasn't a, let me present what I've worked on. It was a, let me suck at this and help me improve, Mr. Teacher Man. And so, yeah. So yeah, a bit, um, bit worried about that. I have emailed my voice teacher, my singing teacher, uh, both of them and I'm going to ask if they can squeeze me in tomorrow for a lesson. They have got availability on Tuesday but personally that's a bit too late for me. I'd rather have it down on Monday so on Tuesday I can really practice. Wednesday morning be absolutely solidified in my choices and then um, smash it out the park in that audition. Ha. So there's my music. This is my other music that I don't need right now. Script, music. Let's get to it shall we? Let's do it. I've opened up my laptop to get the backing track up. Something else has popped up on my screen. Another job that I need to do before tomorrow. You've really got to set some healthy boundaries when you're preparing. I could now send an email to that student. That's not, I'm not in acting coaching headspace right now. I'm in me as an artist, as an actor headspace, doing what I need to do to work on my craft and also filming it for YouTube, but we'll scrap that bit for now. But after this, I am gonna stop talking to you and sorry, caring about you because I need to focus on my, my job, my task at hand, and that is developing my creative practice as an artist. So, just thought I'd add that little tip in there, it's very helpful.
2nd of August, it is 5.52 p.m. Beautiful, sunny, delightful evening. Uh, just to update you on where I'm at with the audition preparation and everything. So last I looked at the speeches, the curtains are going crazy. Let me just move those down. Will you desist? So just because I said I'd keep you updated with all of that, I've got a bruise on my leg. That I don't know where that's... Well, maybe from lugging my bag around. Carrying on, the journey today has taken me much longer than anticipated. I know it'd be a long day today. Left the house about half six. Which I didn't film any of it, unfortunately, but I did have a good go through um, the the play, which they've sent me. It's a very short play. So I had another read through that. I've picked the bit that I wanted to do. I've gone over it a few times. I'm really confident with it, really comfortable with it. I'm gonna print it off tomorrow and take it with me or just write it out. So this is one thing that I do recommend as well, if you're quite a visual, touchy-feely person. Um, I wouldn't say I'm touchy-feely, but I find, I feel like I'm a very physical person. I like to see things and, and feel like I own them. And one way that I find really helps me own what I'm doing is by writing it out myself. It is coming up to, like I said, six o'clock. I want to go for a little walk, get some lovely, healthy, nutritiously brilliant foods in and have a nice, um, filling and nutritious dinner. I've also, I ordered some stuff to my mum's. I do this sometimes if I'm coming and I've got a delivery and I don't want to miss it for the week I'm here or whatever. Um, so I've just got some new skincare. So I'm going to give myself a little pamper with that, make sure that I don't react to it. Um, it's good for my skin, but sometimes when you change skincare regimens, it can um, irritate your skin a little bit. And my skin in particular gets very upset with these sorts of things. Anywho, so on the coach, what I did was I went through that part of the audition. So there's three parts, remember, we've got the song, uh, a monologue they've asked for, and then the, the part of text from the play. And because public transport is so noisy, you can normally get away with just saying it. Most people these days wears, these day, the, the, most people these days wear headphones, right? When they're traveling and they're normally sound blocking and everything. So I actually take one of my headphones out and I have a little listen or I take my headphones off completely and I'll just really gently say it just so I'm used to giving these words voice. I'm not really fully acting it, but I am probably acting it. I probably look a bit stupid to some people, but I don't care. I'm not gonna see them again. Um, and I've got a job to do at the end of the day, so I don't really care how I look. So I've given that a few goes. I did have a good go at the song. I sirened it. I went all over the notes again and the edits that I've got on the song, so I'm confident. And one reason I've just started recording this now is because I was just thinking of the song and um, I laughed because the last time I sang this song in an audition, it was a few years ago now. I totally messed it up. So I laughed and I actually, instead of that scaring me, I actually thought, oh, can't be any worse than that. Because <laughs> I really muffed it up and I literally was like, oh, I've forgotten the words. I, but I was so relaxed in the audition, clearly. I was just like, oh. I didn't say I forgot the words, but my face definitely said that. Um, so yeah, so it can't be worse than that. And the other reason I just thought I'd record this because I forgot to update you all is because my friend just asked me when the audition is and she said, oh, good luck, you know, I'll be thinking of you. And I was like, do you know what? Actually, this is my first audition in person in years. And it's for who it's for, which is quite a big audition. And it's in person and I mean, as if that wasn't enough anyway, like doing an audition, I've got to sing with a pianist. And then I thought, oh, the last time I sang this song, I really fudged it up. So, it, it, do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's funny how things go and you've just got to go at it with a whatever happens approach, whatever happens happens approach. And that's what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna go over the stuff tonight, potentially handwrite everything out, 
have a little play around, definitely sing the song a few times uh, and check my cuts and edits so I'm 100% certain on it. And then I'm probably going to have a little bath. Like I said, I'm going to go for a walk. And then tomorrow at four o'clock, Wednesday the 3rd of August, I've got the audition. You've just got to go and do your best considering your circumstances. Remember this, that there's other stuff going on in your life and auditions, no matter who they're for, are just auditions at the end of the day. And what matters is that you maintain your sanity, your mental health, and you have a healthy approach to these things whilst also navigating your life, like all the other stuff in your life. I'm gonna go now because it's six o'clock and I've been talking for eight minutes and three or five seconds. <laughs> Bye. Guess this was kind of fun when it all started going